Pulmonary function testing is a set of non-invasive tests that are used to measure how well a patient's lungs are working. This is important in the diagnosis and treatment of those with respiratory diseases. In order to perform the test and obtain accurate results, it is important to use the right types of PFT equipment and machines. There are several different types of devices, which is what we are going to discuss in this video. So if you're ready, let's get into it. As previously mentioned, PFT equipment is made up of a number of devices that are used to measure different aspects of lung function. This can include how well the lungs take in and expel air, how efficiently they transfer oxygen to the blood, and how much air the lungs can hold. Therefore, PFTs measure lung volumes, capacities, and the amount of gas exchange or lack thereof. The results that are obtained can help respiratory therapists and physicians diagnose and treat their patients. So now let's talk about the types. There are many different types of PFT equipment that are used in the various types of pulmonary function tests, including a spirometer, peak flow meter, body plethysmograph, pulmonary gas analyzer, gas conditioning device, blood gas analyzer, Silverman pneumotachometer, and a pulse oximeter. Each device is used to measure different aspects of a patient's lung function. So now let's talk a little more about each type. A spirometer is a device that measures the volume and speed of air that a patient can inhale and exhale. It is helpful in diagnosing both obstructive and restrictive lung diseases. Additionally, it is helpful in assessing if a medication is working in a patient with constricted airways. A peak flow meter is a handheld device that measures the maximum speed of air that can be exhaled when a patient blows out as hard and fast as they can. It is used to assess if a patient's asthma is under control and can also be used to measure the effectiveness of certain medications. A body plethysmograph is a large box in which the patient enters that can measure the amount of air that is inhaled and the volume that remains in the lungs after exhalation. This is one of the only PFT devices that is capable of measuring a patient's residual volume. A pulmonary gas analyzer is a machine that is used to measure the concentration of oxygen and carbon dioxide in a patient's exhaled breath. This information can be used to assess how well the lungs are exchanging gases. This is important because if too much CO2 accumulates in the blood, it can lead to respiratory failure and serious health complications. Additionally, if the oxygen concentration is decreased and hypoxemia is present, it is also problematic. A gas conditioning device is used to regulate the temperature and humidity of the air that is being delivered to the patient during a pulmonary function test. This is important because changes in temperature and humidity can affect the results of the test. A blood gas analyzer is a machine that measures the partial pressure of oxygen and carbon dioxide in a patient's blood. This information can be used to assess how well the lungs are exchanging gases and if there is too much CO2 accumulated in the blood. A Silverman pneumotachometer is a device that is used to measure the flow rate of gases during breathing. It uses multiple screens to act as a resistive element while helping ensure laminar flow. A pulse oximeter is a device that measures the oxygen saturation of a patient's blood. This is helpful in assessing how well the lungs are transferring oxygen to the blood and body tissues. Hypoxemia is a condition in which the oxygen saturation is below normal. Using a pulse oximeter during a pulmonary function test helps ensure that the patient's oxygen saturation stays within the acceptable range. Spirometry is the most common type of pulmonary function test and works by measuring a patient's breathing patterns and lung functionality. It uses a spirometer, which is a diagnostic device that measures the volume and speed of airflow during a breathing cycle. Spirometry is used to diagnose lung conditions such as COPD, restrictive lung diseases, and other disorders that affect lung function. This test is also used to assess how well a medication is working in patients with asthma. Pulmonary function testing also involves the measurement of a patient's lung volumes. This includes their tidal volume, inspiratory reserve volume, expiratory reserve volume, and residual volume. 
Various techniques can be used to measure lung volumes, including nitrogen washout, helium dilution, and body plethysmography. I should also mention the forced vital capacity maneuver. Forced vital capacity is a common pulmonary function test that measures the total volume of air that can be rapidly and forcefully exhaled after a maximum inspiration. This test is helpful in determining if that patient has an obstructive or restrictive lung condition. One important thing to remember is that the maneuver is highly effort dependent and requires continuous coaching from the respiratory therapist in order to achieve reliable results. If you want to support the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.